one of the really great challenges that that I think every one of us who has aging parents or other loved ones and who's engaged in their well-being and care I think something every one of us faces but really either doesn't know how to or doesn't want to acknowledge at least consciously is the issue of guilt guilt is such a driver a destroyer manipulator of our mindset and of our well-being that I think we pay a real price when we don't step back and acknowledge and recognize, oh, wait a minute, um, am I doing this because of guilt? Am I reacting because of guilt? Or what's driving me? What, what am I doing and why am I doing it really? I believe there are really two kinds of guilt. There is uh, inflicted. Inflicted is what our parents do to us. That's when they call and say, we're out of food. We could be starving and you don't, you don't even care. Where have you been? What kind of son are you? We don't even hear from you. Uh, when they're really reaching out and drawing us into their world, not because they're feeling what they're saying so much as they're feeling lonely, fragile, vulnerable, and afraid, and they want to draw us into their world. They want us to be more visible and engaged in their world. So they're going to use the same kind of tactics precisely that when you think back, we used as eight-year-olds on them. So that's the first kind. The second kind is, uh, is self-induced. And that's us trying to figure out what we missed. We're busy second-guessing. What did we do? What didn't we do? What could we do? What should we do? What? And you can't live that way. I know that I did a lot of that, and I finally learned one day to stand in the mirror. I just looked in the mirror, and I said, you know, Am I doing the best job I know how to do? And I said to myself, yeah, I am. So I'm saying, well, then why, do I, why do I feel this guilt? I really don't need to. And myself in the mirror said, yeah, you're right. You really don't have to. And how you define what's enough and what's right is going to be different for every one of us. But the point is, if we can honestly look in the mirror and say, I'm doing the best job I know how to do to support and help my parents to make them safe and comfortable, then you're doing just fine. And second guessing is a destructive tendency that achieves nothing except to give you a migraine and heartburn. So take it from me. Dump the guilt.